Edison invented the first practical playable recording medium. There were actually sounds recorded before that in the 1850s and 60s by Leon Scott de Martinville in France, but they could be seen but not heard. Recently, in the past 10 years, we have actually played those back. Go to First Sounds Initiative on the web and you can hear some of that stuff. Basically gave a visual representation, but Edison invented and came up with a solution with a tin foil, a sheet of tin foil wrapped around a groove drum uh, was the the best method, you know, the one that was, uh, was, was the most practical. And that could be played back, but generally after maybe one or two plays, that's it. And then if you took it off the machine, it was destroyed. You really couldn't get it back on there. So in 1888, after some other folks tried to do some uh, improving on that invention, uh, Edison came up, him and his cronies, it's not all him, we say Edison, but it's the Edison Co Corporation, the, the guys in there, came up with the tapered bore solid composition cylinder. Okay, this is called wax, it's not wax. In the very uh, first few months, they were uh, experimenting with waxes, but then it, autom it went to a, a, a metallic soap. This was in 1888. Also in 1888, a fellow named Emil Berliner, a German uh, immigrant uh, that lived in Washington, D.C., was experimenting with a disc method, and that became practical as well in 1888, 1889. So the cylinder and the flat disc did run together consecutively. You could buy it in either format uh, for, you know, up until say 1929 when the Edison Company was the last handout holdout on commercial recording on cylinder actually. And after 1914 they were all dubbed anyway by the Edison Corporation. So you could still buy cylinders, they were still made up until August, uh, October of 1929. And then these continued, something like this formula continued for dictation purposes actually up into the 1960s, but commercial music was completely gone on cylinder at that time. That kind of catches you up to date. This machine is one of Edison's probably best home units for standard size cylinders. It's known as a Edison Triumph. It's got a three spring motor in it. It's a real workhorse and it could be bought at the, in around 1906, which is the vintage that this machine is from. 1905, 1906, uh, for about $150. Now, y'all do the math. That was a lot of money back then. But what we're doing today is necessarily limited by the fact that this is home recording equipment. And so the recordings are not going to be, the playback is not going to be as loud as a commercially recorded cylinder or disc. But the fidelity is pretty darn good. Oh.